Hi everybody, it's Jenny. How you doing on your diet? Hope you're doing well. Um, I have a new t-shirt. You can't see the whole thing. I picked this up at Salvation Army to work out in because I'm going to the gym after this. And it says, after this, we're getting pizza. <laughs> I thought it was a funny, funny t-shirt to wear to the gym. <laughs> No pizza for us, right? No pizza for us. Anyway, it's a funny t-shirt. Um, okay, so I have two days to do for an update. Very kind of interesting days. So we're doing days 19 and 20, right? And I'm stopping this on day 23. Day 23, I'm actually leaving. I'm going that morning for my weekend retreat. But that day is really just a bunch of packing things up and all that. And so I really do have more control over my food that day. So it really won't be, I'm going to count that day as part of this diet. And then uh, Friday, I'll be off. Um, although it's supposed to be a gradual off and I should start sooner. Actually, I'll stop the drops on Wednesday. I won't have any on Thursday to give myself at least one full day of no drops. You're supposed to do two, but um, okay. So day 19, I got on the scale and it said plus 0.2. Not so happy about that. Right after the day before, where it was minus 0.5, but the day before also was the beginning of Tom, and I don't know how that comes into play with all of this. I don't, you know, like sometimes they just think, oh, it's just, um, um, ah, the word premenopausal is in my head, pre, pre, pre-period. <laughs> I can't think of the right word. Anyway, pre, premenstrual, thank you. Nobody said anything, I just got it myself. Premenstrual, um, is usually when you're more bloated, but not for everybody. Some people are more bloated during it. Some are bloated during the premenstrual phase and the menstrual phase. And so I don't know if that comes into play or not. And it's just so iffy and crazy. And it sucks to be on this diet if you're a woman because there's so many of these little factors between hormones and then periods and time of the month. Um, so, I, I, again, I didn't beat myself up too much, but I just thought I got to get this under control because I knew I only had a couple more days left on the diet and I really wanted to lose over 10 pounds before I got off of it, knowing that I'm going to have a slip back and then I need to jump back on the bandwagon. Um, and I had a very interesting question that came to me in one of my videos, one of my videos from years ago that I had posted. Somebody asked a question and they said, that they were doing, um, going to do HCG along with intermittent fasting, but their intermittent fasting was day on, day off eating. So they call it binge day and, and uh, fast day. So it's like fast day, binge day, fast day, binge day. So, um, but the binge is not supposed to be anything that you can eat or all you can eat. Um, so she was asking me by doing intermittent fasting that way, what, you know, what would she eat and how many calories and that. And it took me a couple days to like really think through it and like come to grips with it. Like my first instinct was, well, I, well, I don't just don't do that. I don't go a whole day without eating. So, you know, you kind of do what you want to do. <laughs> but I really thought about it and I thought, you know, this gal's really onto something because the reality is when you're on HCG, if you're not hungry, hungry, remember, not if you want to eat but if you're not truly hungry you're you don't have to eat the food it's not required to eat any amount of food even in Dr. Simeon's protocol from back in the 60s he said if you don't want to eat all of the food in a, in a given day you don't have to you can kind of pick and choose what you don't eat which is why I always pick and choose never to eat the apples on it because I just can't wrap my brain around the concept that I would put that many carbohydrates into my body when I feel like part of what's happening in the whole metabolic process is you're gonna is getting my body into a state of ketosis that can only help me lose weight right I mean I get the restriction of calories is definitely gonna help me but ketosis is gonna help me too so why not do both so I don't eat the apples. Um, 
And so I really started mulling it over in my brain and I just thought, you know, she's really onto something because I've seen a lot of videos where different doctors would talk about, uh, the one doctor in particular who I was referencing the last time, what was her name, uh, Dr. Talty, she was saying that she had somebody that ate almost nothing for a whole month. And she said, I don't recommend it dietarily and nutrition wise, but she goes, as far as me monitoring her on the diet, if she wasn't hungry at all and she was taking the HCG and her body, and she mentioned that this woman had a substantial amount of weight to lose, but she said she went 23 days or 21 days or whatever it was, essentially eating almost nothing on it. Again, this doctor didn't recommend it. I'm not recommending it. But the whole notion and concept of every day around 3 o'clock, I'm just like, oh, it's time to eat. And I just get so excited. And it's not because I'm hungry. It's because, oh, I get to eat now. I love to eat. But the reality is I really needed to sit down and think about it and realize my goal shouldn't be getting to that one time a day where I get to eat the food that I enjoy eating. My goal in all this is to lose weight and ideally lose as much as I can. And so knowing that going forward, knowing I only had a couple more days left, I thought I'm just going to eat when I want to eat. Well, as it so happened to be, yesterday was a very busy day for me. Out and about, running errands, doing this, doing that. And before I knew it, it was six o'clock. And I thought, I can put myself to bed at 8 o'clock. I can do some stuff on my laptop in bed and be asleep by 9. And if I'm not hungry, you know, I'll just like tell myself, you're done eating for today. This is just it. Not, you're going to sacrifice, you're not going to have dinner, or even try to say, you've already eaten. I'm just going to be like, you're just not eating for the rest of today. And at that point, at 6 o'clock, I just thought, I'm not hungry. I'd love to eat, but I'm not hungry so I won't. And I went a whole day yesterday without having any food. How about that? I don't know the last time I've done that, honestly. I think I fasted when we were looking for a pastor at our church. Everybody was fasting one day a week, and I had a Monday, so I had Mondays. Now we're talking about 25 years ago. <laughs> so this would be the last time I truly fasted and went 24 hours without eating. So yesterday I didn't have anything to eat. I got on the scale today and it said minus 1.6 pounds. I love that number. <laughs> Let me tell you. That put me into a weight loss of 11.2 pounds. My whole goal was to make sure that I got over 10 pound weight loss before I went on this trip. I'm at 11.2 if I don't backslide and put it all back on again. So today, okay, what time is it? It's 4 o'clock right now. I had a busy, busy morning on the computer, answering emails, creating things, making things, doing everything for my retreat. And then I took my son for practicing his maneuverability because he has a driving test coming up and we haven't done maneuverability at all. If you live in the state of Ohio, you have this funky maneuverability test that's not easy that you have to pass. And it's half of the test. There's the driving and then there's this whole maneuverability moving in, back, out, backwards, both sides of the car. It's just a nightmare um, and that's the part that most people fail so I'm like we need to start practicing this he has a test in two weeks and I'm going to be gone for five days at my scrapbooking retreat so I'm like let's go do maneuverability then we'll go to the gym and then we'll go run some errands well we had to wait probably I don't know a good 45 minutes somebody else was using the cones when we got there so then when we got in there and nobody was coming behind us. I just kept telling them, just keep going, just keep going. You know, next time we come here, we might have to wait another hour before we have access to these cones that are set up to practice. So he just kept practicing and practicing and practicing. And before we knew it, it was uh, 3.30. And I'm like, oh, do you want to go to the gym now? And he's like, I'm really hungry, Mom. So we came home. So I still have to go to Walgreens and pick up my agendas that I print on photos. I still have to go to the Dollar Tree and get these black stickers that I need for my retreat and try to swap out some gloves that I bought online through the Dollar Tree. But I want the ones that have flowers on them. I got some that weren't, so I have to flop that out. I have to stop at a UPS store and drop off an Amazon um, purchase that I'm returning. Um, 
and then I need to go to the gym. So I still really kind of have four errands that I need to run, and I'm just going to do them today. So I told him, after you're done your eating, I'll wait an hour and see if you want to go with me. But if not, I'm just going to go by myself and continue to run these errands. But you know what? I haven't taken my second set of drops. I'm going to do that as soon as I finish this video. But I'm not really hungry yet. I think there's a possibility I could go two days without eating which means my body is using its fat reserves. If I'm not hungry and I'm moving about and going about my day and doing activities and then I go on to the gym and I spend at least an hour doing cardio of some sort, whether it's a recumbent elliptical, whether it's a regular elliptical, whether it's a treadmill, there's, you know, I always have at least 45 minutes of uh, that kind of activity and then I do some weights too. I try to just do like midsection stuff, waist, obliques, that kind of stuff. I really need to be doing underarm stuff here, but anyway. Um, and then I get home. It's going to be at least 6 o'clock. It's going to be probably closer to 7 o'clock, at which point, if I'm not hungry, I'm going to say, hmm, I have about one more hour because before I can start getting ready for bed. Get in my pajamas, you know, jump in the shower, get in my pajamas, sit in the bed and start working on some paperwork and doing that kind of stuff, or maybe even just watch an episode of something on my laptop or on the television, and then just go to bed early. I might go two days without eating. I, I am amazed right now with myself. Just amazed. So I'll let you know what the outcome is if that happens tomorrow, and if I find that I am hungry and I eat the food, I'll let you know what the outcome is again. Now, I finally had a bowel movement today, so that's going to affect the scale, too, because I don't remember. I, I counted up the last time, and it was something like 12 days, 14 days. I think it was close to two weeks. I'm looking here on my um, list here to see. Ah, uh, here we go. Oh, no, I think there was another one after that. Do, 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 do. I'm sorry, I'm scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Look at me scrolling right. Pick it up. Do, 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 do. Oh, here we go. No, 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 no. Oh, there we go. Okay, so it was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. It would be the fifteenth day. I finally had a bowel movement. And it wasn't even grand. <laughs> but it was enough to consider it was a bowel movement. This is after, um, like about four or five days ago, I started taking like uh, one or two oral um, laxatives. Nothing was really happening. They're gentle. They're very gentle. Nothing happened. And then the next day, nothing happened. And I did use the suppository that day, too, because I'm like, this makes you clean out of everything. And nothing. I mean, I mean, like a piece of big cream. Nothing that's worth writing home about. Nothing really happened. I'm like, that's odd. Next day, I took, I think I may have gone a day or two in there without doing any, thinking I would just go. And I didn't. And so um, yesterday, I think I took three pills. So that started getting things moving a little bit. Because I started feeling like, I feel like I'm starting to maybe want to go. Like I'm just starting to feel a little bit bloated. So I wanted something to kind of help move it along. Um, but that just goes to show you on this diet, like your body's using everything that you're putting in it. And there's just no, ra there's no waste. You've got no waste. My body's using everything. Because <laughs> not much to come out. I'm curious when I'll have another one. Um, but I mean, then again, I only have a couple more days left on this, right? I only have, what, three more days. Um, so, all right, that's it. I mean, a lot of chattering. Somehow I always manage to get into the bowel movement conversation. I apologize for that. Um, but I wanted to talk about the fact that um, if you're doing intermittent fasting and you want to do day on, day off, um, if you're mentally prepared to do that, it didn't feel like a sacrifice to me yesterday. It was just a mental gymnastics of, okay, Jen, you're done for today. You'll have food tomorrow. And now I kind of feel like I might just be telling myself, you know what, Jen, 
you're done for today, you can have some food tomorrow. I would love to see the scale have some significant numbers going into this weekend retreat to um, help me. I don't know if any of them are false numbers. I want to make sure that there's, you know, it's not like a water loss kind of thing so that after the weekend, like all of a sudden it says I'm up seven pounds, that would be devastating. Um, but um, I'm feeling pretty good right now about everything and I'm even like motivated to just like go to the gym again I have energy I had no food yesterday none I didn't go to bed feeling hungry and here I am the next day like is it time to go to the gym how about that I think so much of this is psychological I really do so much of it is psychological in terms of when we eat and how much we eat I mean at least it is for me all right, I will update you tomorrow and let you know how things are going if I did end up eating something today later on and what my scale says, which would be a result of maybe eating, maybe not eating today, and also a result of a little bit of uh, waste elimination. All right, that's all. Stay the course. Stick with your diet. Maybe try this out for a day and see if it, how it's working for you. But do it on HCG because that HCG is going to make sure that you're not losing muscle tone, that you're using your reserve fat reserves, um, if you want to. I'm not telling you to do it. Not a medical professional, just so you know. Okay. See you in a couple days.